Today's trade review by popular demand is in Apple AAPL. Uh, this is something we talked about in the morning meeting. Um, as a sell the news candidate, Apple has a history of selling off on the news. I've created videos in the past that we put on the blog. Um, but what happens is it's trending higher, it's trending higher, it's trending higher. Then some news item comes out, it gaps higher. And for whatever reason, the most com a common pattern for it is to sell off pretty hard. So what I want to do is, you know, the trade worked out really well. I um, want to talk from the morning, kind of the trigger we discussed in the morning meeting, and then just talk a little bit about intraday uh, trade management. And I think this trade also um, is one that's, you know, developing to a swing trade as well for those of you who are trading on a higher time frame. So if we take a look at the chart from today, we can see the news came out in the after hours on this deal with IBM um, for IBM to kind of market their products to enterprise customers. And so it had closed down here in the 95s. After hours, it drove up to kind of the opening price. We come in the next morning and it's gapping higher. Um, generally, if, if this is like an earnings situation, when we see situations like this, we actually look for upside follow through. But there really wasn't a real piece of news, expanding margins, um, raised guidance or something like that, was a deal with IBM that in the future may lead to some nominal more profits potentially. So you come in and if you're in early this morning and around 7, 7.30, you can see it was trading up here around 97.80. Um, by the time we were running the morning meeting, I was already in the, like the 97.30 area. And what we discussed was this idea, if the first move was to the downside and it kind of took out um, this opening price from the day before and took out this kind of after hours reaction, uh, let's get short. And so that, that's kind of how I traded it. Um, first move, showed some weakness, shorted it in the 96.80 area, 96.70s right here. Um, there was one little spike back up to the 95 area to kind of make you not feel comfortable. but. Um, by 9.45, the stock was below the half, and this is where kind of the intraday trade management comes into play. So you have the opening drive to the downside, and now it's holding and consolidating um, below a very clear, well-defined level. If we go to the five minute, we can see, so I noticed this the first time um, it comes down and starts holding below this area here. Like, wow, this is 15 minutes. It's holding below the level. Makes a new low. When a stock is trending and it makes a new low and then retraces back up to the level where it couldn't get above, this is a spot where you kind of want to put on some risk because, you know, what's your risk here if you're shorting it at 48 cents? Cover above 60, not even 15 cents. And you're making a play that this is a sell the news type trend situation. Um, your confirmation is when it finally um, starts to hold at, a lo at lower prices, which is right around 96.20. And so when something's trending like this, you want to see hold lower. Make a new low, clearly defined level here, 96.20. So the more aggressive trader who maybe wasn't in it yet, they might get involved here at 96.20. Um, and then your confirmation for the kind of the end of the day closes at the low probably is right at the end of the day if it takes out the low and you get an increase in volume. So that's from an intraday perspective. So opens above yesterday's high, completely engulfs the price action from the prior three days, closes at the low. It would be unusual for it not to come down and test the support here around 93 and a half. So, you know, it's a swing trade. And for those who you know, are looking for a bigger kind of move. If it gets below 93 and a half, um, maybe it comes all the way back down and, and the, post, the post split low was right down here um, at 89, 80 or so. So, but certainly a high probability that it comes into this 93 and a half. The way that we would look at this tomorrow is pops up on the open a little bit. Definitely shouldn't really hold above this 95 and a half area. Would like to see even maybe fail a little bit lower, like say 95.20. Um, takes out today's low, uh, 94.70, and then you know look for that move back down to, to 93 and a half. Might not get there tomorrow. Might take two days, um, but this is very bearish price action. Um, and hope you enjoyed that.